Hello everybody, this is Tevrian again with your semi-weekly vlog. Just uh, wanted to update you guys on how Aranor is going and my general thoughts and all that. As you may have noticed, uh, there have been a few changes since my last vlog post. I've gotten to quite a few things. Uh, I have implemented uh, the reputation system, which I'm sure you've all noticed. Uh, there were some discussions on the forums over how much some of the abilities cost. I don't think it will be a problem. Uh, let me explain to you my reasoning here as to why I think it should take all the reputation away. It's because these abilities, such as Time Turner, they are so powerful and they take a lot of resources and they, they're, they need to have a limiting function, a way to keep them from being overused or misused. Now, there are a few ways to do that. Uh, one way would be to limit how many times it can be done per day or, you know, once a week or whatever. I don't really like that idea because it doesn't really feel dynamic. It's like, at least with this, you can build up your uh, your reputation back up. You, if you were really dedicated, you could do it uh, relatively quickly, especially since I've implemented the uh, Tales of Valor and Tales of Glory. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I don't think that the concerns about the reputation system becoming a grind are are right. I think that it will be fine. Of course, I will be keeping an eye on it, so you don't need to worry about that. Next, uh, if you go to the homepage, and uh, I know this is an essential game thing, but there are a few changes. On the top right-hand corner, you'll see a little peel over, and under it, it'll give you a an email address that you can email if you want to become a community manager. Now, community managers, basically, they're forum moderators, but they also have the additional job of uh, you know going to other websites and promoting Aranor. Uh, so it seems, seems like something some people would like to do. And you get a nice little uh, forum title and your name's green and you have moderation powers. So if you guys are interested, just give that a, that email a, uh, a try and uh, me or uh, Arizonan will get back to you. Also at the bottom, there's three new buttons, uh, visit, help, and donate. Visit is obviously uh, goes right to the community forums. The help one will uh, take you to a page that will show our YouTube channel, our Facebook, and our Twitter. And the uh, green donate button, oh, I guess you bet you can guess what that's for. Donations, always nice. Now, uh, I'm going to go back to the uh, little rollover. Not the contents of the roller, but the rollover itself. It is Adobe Flash, as a lot of people will probably realize. And a lot I might get some flack for using Adobe Flash. But let me explain my reasoning here. A lot of people do not like Adobe Flash, <laughs> but it's a non-essential thing. It's just a little, it's not an essential game function. If I was going to make a dynamic game function, I probably would have used HTML5 and JavaScript. The reason I didn't in this case really is just because uh, while I do know HTML5, I, I have a, I'm not very good at it. I, 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 I'm not the best. I'm not terrible. I could probably get something working, but uh, I come from a pretty traditional background with uh, web design. So uh, I definitely want to add more functionality to, not functionality, what I mean to say is I, I definitely want to add more uh, interactivity with some, some features like uh, a lot of the post data. Like, for example, wouldn't it be nice to, let's say, uh, if you uh, wanted to update your status, Instead of having to go to the page, type in your new status, hit the update page, what if you could just double click the text on the screen and uh, the screen will turn into an editable, editable region. You type in your new status, you hit enter, and the new status is sent, kind of like Facebook does it. And that's remarkably easy to do, actually, I, uh, but uh, it's just one of those things that I haven't gotten around to. But uh, those are some of the small things I'm looking to do. Uh, so I definitely want to add more HTML5, more JavaScript, and I'm sure you've noticed uh, here and there, there have been some more interactive uh, parts of the website. I mean, there was always little things, such as the uh, buttons glowing when you hovered over them, or things enlarging, you know, little things. But the problem with interactivity is sometimes, uh, especially when it comes to Flash, some people don't have uh, the uh, correct... Uh, plugins to view them. Of course, HTML5 has a cross-browser support, so it shouldn't be a problem there, unless someone's using a very old browser. Uh, 
moving on, what else did I want to talk about? Oh yes, I've expand for our advertising campaigns. We're we haven't been advertising very much other than uh, me going to other forums and uh, uh, other websites and forums and bringing people in. But we're going to start some limited advertising. We've expanded our base. Originally, it's only been uh, for the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Uh, I've expanded the base to let me see, uh, India, uh, China. Uh, South Korea, France, Germany, and the Netherlands, and uh, I think that, oh, in Russia, in Russia. Uh, I've tried to keep it narrowed down to English speakers, but if you get someone who comes on and they speak another language, try to be nice to them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's if you see a bunch of people coming in who don't speak English, that might be it. But I tried to target uh, countries with uh, large English-speaking populations and... Uh, Nations such as India certainly qualify. Uh, da, 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 da. I added a random quest. Uh, it's called the Black Dragon Inn. It's pretty fun. I think it, it's well done. You'll need an airship to complete it. But uh, when you do complete it, you will get the item Rowinda's Flask, which is probably the most powerful offensive item in the game, I think. Right now, the chance of getting this quest is 1 in 10. Uh, when you uh, when the game actually launches, it'll probably be one in a hundred or something like that. Maybe even harder to get, but I, I, there'll be more of them. This is just the first random quest. I want to add, you know, a, bu a bunch of them. You know, every once in a while you'll say, "Oh, look, I got a random quest," and you'll be able to do it. This will be in addition to daily quests. So I have a lot of writing ahead of me, but <laughs> I'm actually. These little stories, I, I like the main storyline, but little stories like the Black Dragon Inn, they, they let me, you know, delve off into other things. Like, uh, you get your first, uh, throughout the storyline, the Covenant has been shown as this very evil force, which, which it is. But uh, with this quest, it kind of uh, takes you, takes it in the other direction. It says, well, here's a woman who's clearly not evil, she's just an old woman. She fell into the covenant, uh, the covenant's promise. She thinks she thinks she'll get eternal life, and there's she's not evil, and uh, you can almost kind of identify with her. I hope. I just wanted to show that not everyone who followed the covenant was necessarily evil. There certainly were many evil people, especially the seven, Vexus and Seth and such. But it's nice to have you know your villains not be completely two dimensional. They have reasons for what they do. Uh, me and Arizona are still, uh, we're still shooting for a May 1st launch date, and I know that seems soon. It's about a little over two weeks. If we absolutely have to, we might delay it another two weeks, but I don't think so. I don't think we need to. There's a few things that need to be hammered out, refined, streamlined. But even when the, like I said in the last vlog, even when the game is released, that doesn't mean development stops. It actually means development pushes forward and we go further on some things. The only difference is there won't be any testing phases. Uh, well, not in the way they are now. For example, I, uh, for, for this beta testing phase, I'm just fine putting out something like the reputation page, finishing most of it. Going back to something else and say, hey guys, look at this, see what you think, and then I'll do more as I get your feedback. After launch, when a new feature is implemented, it will be done. It will be fully functional, and that will be the feature. But of course, even after launch, we'll still be tuning. You know, there might be a few bugs here and there every once in a while. But launch just means that the game is functional. And uh, as you probably are aware, it's about 95% functional now. Most of the things we need to do are cosmetic and add quests. Oh, speaking of quests. Now, of course, I'm going to be adding a lot more quests in the coming weeks. But also, what I was planning on doing, instead of releasing quests like randomly, uh, I'm, I'm talking about after launch, how about like a serial? So like every Saturday, a new quest line comes out. Like not just one little quest, but like a whole quest line. I think that's a good idea. And it would give people something to look forward to, like, oh, the new quests come out on Tuesday and Saturday. And so, you know, every Tuesday they'll log on to see what the new quest is. Kind of like the old uh, the old uh, adventure serials in the 1960s and 40s. So I think that would be an interesting idea to consider.
people like regularity, I think. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to discuss. On uh, my next vlog, I'm going to uh, try to have Arizoan on. Me and him will talk, banter around. You guys haven't heard him for much. Uh, I know he's not on that much, but he's. I, I talk to him every day about Aranor, and he's very excited. We live uh, in completely separate states, so most of our uh, correspondence is by phone, but he he is invaluable to Fireglass, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys will like to hear his insight on how things are going. Anyway, take care. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section. Thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed, and you guys take care.